From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show with the festivities of one of the biggest celebrations in Madurai city of Tamil Nadu. Goddess Minakshi is revered as the Queen of Madurai, which is also the centre of her worship. Every year, the grand celebration of the Chitarai festival is held at the Minakshi temple in Madurai, commemorating the holy union of Goddess Minakshi and Lord Sundareshwar. Have a look. Every year in the Tamil month of Chaitra, which usually falls between April and May, Madurai pulls a sea of devotees as the city's Meenakshi Amman temple celebrates the annual Chitirai festival. Commemorating the celestial wedding of Goddess Meenakshi, a form of the Supreme Goddess, and Lord Sundareshwar, a form of Shiva, the festival hosts a number of events that are not just religious, but also boast of the remarkable cultural continuity of the Indian civilization. Kodi Yatram marks the first event of the entire celebration. In this, the chief priest of Meenakshi Temple declares the opening of the festival by hoisting the flag which stays on the flag post till the end of the festival. Niki Kodiatram, Meenakshi Tirikalyanatakana Kodiatra, Katala and the Nadanatrik Vegu Marchanya and the Tirikalyanatakana Modanal Niki Kodiatram Rade other Nangapakra the Kaya Katala are El Monikula in the Tom. Panda inga Yellaka Kodi Janangal Kodirka and the Sandosha Engalke Yenga Viti Kalyano Abdindra or Tripdile. Nangelarme and the Kodieta Pate Rumba, Alade, Ulaka Makalelarme, Uru Perciniki, Elarcome, Sagala, I show him Kadekan, Minachi Trivula, Elaran, Alarcon, Pariburuma Vindicate. Patabi Shekam marks the second event in which Goddess Minakshi is crowned as the Queen of Madurai for the next four months. For this ceremony, the beautifully decorated idols of Goddess Meenakshi and Lord Sundareshwar and his consort Periya Vidai are brought to the Arukal Mandapam, which is situated opposite to the temple Sanctum Sanctorum. A female elephant is also prepared who walks in front of the deities as a part of the custom. Hundreds of devotees as well as tourists assemble in the temple to witness this whole divine extravaganza. Ambala Pakra de Tirikalyanam Kan Kam Pakra de Sami Kumbara Nangade in the Urivasha Toda Balan Abdin and Ambra. Adanada Kala Sami Pakrano Kavitla in the Kalami Vandrike. In the other last year Pate in a Kadukana Balan the Kur Urvasha in the chair, so in the year of Pakan and Soli Vandite. Meenakshi Kalyanam marks the most important event of the Chitarai festival. It is the grand wedding celebration of Meenakshi and Sundareshwar in the city of Madurai. The deities are decorated with silk cloth and floral garlands and nearly 50 priests in the temple perform puja rituals and special prayers. A day after the event, is the chariot festival in which Meenakshi and Sundareshwar, who are now the king and the queen of Madurai, come out to bless the devotees on two aesthetically decorated wooden chariots. This ceremony attracts many people to the Masi streets of Madurai, where the procession takes place. This அதே வந்து நிறைவா கொண்டாடுறோம் நல்லா பாப்போம் திருக்கல்யாணம் தேர் 
அது நாங்கள் சிவனை வந்து விரும்பி அவர் தான் எல்லாமே அப்படின்னு நினைக்கிறனால அதை ரொம்ப விரும்புவோம் அழகரையும் போய் பார்ப்போம் ஆமாம் மன நிறைவாக இருக்குது ஏதோ எல்லா இத்தனை வயசுக்கு நிறையா இழந்திருப்போம் நிறையா பார்த்துருப்போம் அதில் இதெல்லாம் பார்க்கும்போது ஒரு ஆத்ம திருப்தி கிடைக்கும் The procession of Lord Alagar, a form of Lord Vishnu and the brother of Goddess Meenakshi is another main event of the Chitrai festival. It starts from his temple in Alagar Koyil, a village in Madurai and ends at Ramayar Mandapam on the banks of Vagai River. Amid the journey, devotees also spray scented water at the procession. Legend has it that after realizing that he could not attend the marriage, Alagar returned back from the middle of the Vagai River after giving gifts to his sister Meenakshi. The same is reenacted in the festival by taking back Lord Alagar to his abode in a floral palanquin. While all the other events of the Chitrai festival are performed in the south of Vagai River, this is the only one that takes place in the north. I'm very happy uh, in spite of lot of people around we are able to see Alagar and uh, I wish uh, uh, Alagar will bless total Madurai this year uh, and the whole Tamil Nadu also. Celebration of culture and tradition, Chitrai is one of the longest and most important festivals of the Shakta sect which is a major denomination in Hinduism dedicated to the worship of Devi or Goddess. Little girls are given the most importance. Dressed in shimmering saris, they play the role of goddess Meenakshi, a young and beautiful warrior princess. It is something that can inspire girls to become warriors and rulers. While well, situated in the Nizamuddin West area of New Delhi, the Dargah of Hazrat Nizamuddin Olia is one of the most revered sites in the country. Also known for its evening Kavali sessions, the shrine is visited by thousands of pilgrims every week. Recently, the 720th Urs of the Saint was held, which was attended by people of all religious communities. Take a look. Decorated with glittering lights and echoing with magic and mysticism, the Darga of Hazrat Nizamuddin in New Delhi recently commemorated the Urs of the Holy Saint. The shrine is famous as Mahboob e Ilahi among devotees. Hazrat Nizamuddin Aulia is the most famous saint of the Cheshti order. The four day event saw a sea of devotees of different backgrounds and religions visiting the shrine to seek the blessings of the saint. आज उर्स मुबारक में शिरकत के लिए तमाम दुनिया के लोग यहाँ पर हाजिर हैं जिसके अंदर हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई यहूदी सब लोग यहाँ पर आते हैं और अल्लाह ताला से दुआएं करते हैं अल्लाह ताला उन सब की दुआओं को कबूल करते हैं लोग यहाँ खाली हाथ आते हैं रोते हुए आते हैं यहाँ से हंसते हुए और झोलियाँ भर के जाते हैं it is believed that Nizamuddin Aulia was born in Badayu city of Uttar Pradesh and relocated to Delhi with his mother on the death of his father. Built in Islamic style architecture, Nizamuddin Darga is a beautiful structure comprising intricate lattice screens and a vast courtyard framed by marble arches dating back to the 14th century. Besides housing the tomb of the saint, the Darga also has the tomb of Amir Khusro, one of the greatest Urdu and Persian poets. Well recognized for seeking truth, love and knowledge through a more personal experience with greater being, Nizamuddin Aulia is respected by the people of all the communities. Hindustan me Sufism ki jo buniyad rakhi hai, wo Khwaja Gharib Nawaz ne rakhi hai jinka darbar Ajmer Sharif mein hai. और सूफिज़म भाईचारा पूरे मुल्क में गरीब नवाज़ ने फैलाया है उन्हीं का मिशन महबूब लाई हज़रत निज़ामुद्दीन अलिया ने आगे कंटिन्यू करा है आज भी आप देखेंगे दरबार में हर धर्म के लोग आते हैं जो प्यार मोहब्बत बिना किसी भेदभाव से दरबार में मन्नत मुरादे लेकर आते हैं और अल्लाह पाक महबूब लाही के वसीले से उन सबको कबूल फरमाते हैं आपको यहाँ दरबार में जमुना गंगा तहजीब देखने को मिलेगी सब लोग आते हैं सभी धर्मों का यहाँ पर 
जो है ध्यान में रखते हुए स्पेशली वेजिटेरियन लंगर भी किया जाता है कि सब धर्म के लोग एक साथ बैठ के लंगर खा सके These holy celebrations like Urs clearly indicate that the lesson of humanity and compassion that was once propagated by the Sufi saints is still having its roots deeply embedded in the Indian culture. And now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. A cake artist in India's western Pune city was honored by the World Book of Records London for creating the biggest cake depicting an Indian palace. Deb was awarded for creating the biggest vegan royal icing structure weighing 200 kilograms. The white cake is 10 feet 1 inches in length, 4 feet 7 inches in height and 3 feet 8 inches in width. this is inspired from various palaces and monuments from different parts of india if you look at the structure you'll get glimpses of you know monuments and palaces and all the windows and doors and the domes are inspired from various indian palaces and so the thought was actually creating something majestic uh, which was uh, uh, you know a tribute to indian architecture she had earlier created a record for making a milan cathedral shaped vegan cake Bollywood celebrities raised the glamour question at a red carpet event of an award function in India's showbiz capital of Mumbai. From Bollywood A-listers like Akshay Kumar, Sushmita Sen to television personalities like Kapil Sharma and Arjuna Puran Singh, the HT India's most stylish awards saw celebrities dressed up to match the street couture theme. Thank you so much. Bahut uh, khush lag raha hai idhar aake. और बहुत पर्सनालिटीज भी है इधर तो रियली वन अमोंग देम आई थिंक इट्स इट्स रियली नाइस क्योंकि ये अवार्ड्स डेफिनेटली स्टाइलिश अवार्ड्स मतलब यू हैव टू बी कंफर्टेबल इन व्हाट यू वेयर एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ पर्सनालिटी फॉर अ पर्सन एंड फॉर अ वुमेन आई थिंक वुमेन लव टू ड्रेस एक्ट्रेस रवीना टंडन वाज अवार्डेड विद द स्टाइल हॉल ऑफ फेम अवार्ड HD India's most stylish awards are celebrated to award the brilliance in the line of fashion and glamour. As many as 108 couples belonging to tribal community tied the knot at a mass wedding ceremony in India's eastern Siliguri city. The couples donned traditional Indian attires and performed Hindu nuptial rituals. 108 jode hain पूरे उत्तर बंगाल से हैं विशेष रूप से जलपाईगुड़ी जिला और ये सिल्लीगुड़ी के आसपास का हमारा सबसे पहले कार्य खोड़ीबाड़ी में प्रारंभ हुआ था उन्नीस में द इवेंट वॉज कंसिडर टू हेल्प द पीपल हु कैन नॉट अफोर्ड वेडिंग सेरेमनीज एंड टू सपोर्ट पीपल कंसिडर टू बी फ्रॉम सोशली बैकवर्ड क्लासेस मास वेडिंग्स आर वेरी पॉपुलर स्पेशली अमंग द इकोनॉमिकली बैकवर्ड सेक्शन ऑफ इंडियन सोसाइटी एज दे रिड्यूस द वरीज ऑफ फाइनेंशियल एम्प्लीकेशन अमंग द पेरेंट्स और गार्डियंस ऑफ द ब्राइड्स India has from time immemorial championed the cause of religious syncretism in all its varieties of thoughts and traditions to the uttermost parts of the world. In a bit to get you familiar with the long-standing legacy of religious harmony in the subcontinent, we take you to Lucknow city of Uttar Pradesh which serves as a token of peace and unity for the generations to come. Take a look. Situated in the Lucknow city of Uttar Pradesh, the shrine of Dada Mia Sahib has been serving as a sinecure of communal harmony for generations the 105 year old shrine is visited by people of different religious communities from not just lucknow but all around the state ek apne andar ki shraddha hai ki hame yahan se jo hum chahte hain wo hame milta hai aastha to baba hi bata sakte hain hamare andar to unke liye bahut aastha hai हमने जब यहाँ नहीं भी आते हैं अगर सच्चे मन से कुछ चाहते हैं वो हमारा हो जाता है ऑल दो हंड्रेड ऑफ डेवोटीज विजिट द श्राइन एवरी डे बट फ्राइडेज आर यूजली बिजी वेन एन इनोमस नंबर ऑफ बिलीवर्स कम टू विजिट द होली श्राइन इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ देयर फेथ एंड रिलीजन पीपल विजिट द दरगाह टू गेट द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ द लेजेंडरी सेंट द डेवोटीज बिलीव 
that saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from here. दादा मियाँ से श्रद्धा के बारे में तो अगर बात किया जाए तो यहाँ से हर तरीके के लोग हर मजहब के लोग जुड़े हुए हैं और जितना हम क्या बताएंगे ये तो आने वाले श्रद्धालु से अगर आप पूछेंगे तो वो बताएंगे कि कितनी श्रद्धा है क्योंकि यहाँ से दादा मियाँ का इस तरीके से लोगों के ऊपर फैज है इस तरीके से लोगों की मदद करते हैं कि जो है अगर किसी तरीके से किसी का कोई प्रॉब्लम हो गया है यानी लाइलाज हो गया है डॉक्टर के पास उसका इलाज नहीं है तो भी पेशेंट दादा मियाँ के वहाँ से सही होते हैं और कारोबारिक हिसाब से भी अगर किसी तरीके से कोई किसी को कुछ प्रॉब्लम है वो भी मेटर दादा मियाँ के वहाँ से सही होता है और उसके अलावा जैसे बच्चे पढ़ने वाले हैं तो उनकी बड़ी श्रद्धा है यहाँ से दादा मियाँ के वहाँ से और अच्छी अच्छी डिग्रियाँ दादा मियाँ के चौखट पे वो लोग हाजिरी करके हासिल किए हैं दादा मियाँ के चौखट से इंडिया हैज रिमेंड एन एपी सेंटर ऑफ मेनी सच साइट दैट स्ट्रेंथन द बॉन्ड ऑफ सेक्युलरिज्म people from all faiths rising above their ethnicities castes creeds and religiosity gather at these places and spread the message of peace and brotherhood for coming generations to follow and now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in a section of world in focus Dozens of dazzling light installations have mesmerized visitors during the annual Water Light Festival in the South Tyrol town of Brixen. This year's themes of the exhibition, now its fifth year, and which includes some 50 light artworks centered around peace and the environment. This year's themes of the exhibition. now in its fifth year and which includes some 50 light artworks centered around peace and the environment brixen is located where two rivers meet and it is where danish artist mats vegas set up his work misty mystery it's about the uh, aerial mystery things happening in the sky that we don't really know what is or maybe we do but back in the day we didn't know what it was so it's uh, it's about you know uh, aurora borealis the northern lights and uh, and about uh, maybe it's the gods doing something like the thunder the lightning things like that with one of this year's themes being the environment Organizers said it was important to give artists a forum to express themselves. On the town's library wall, German art group Zanurama was commissioned to create strata, which refers to the layers formed over time through natural processes. Each layer of strata can provide information as does a library. Star Wars enthusiasts in Latin America marked International Star Wars Day dressing as their favorite characters from the international movie franchise. At the Lima Comic Festival, Peruvian Star Wars fans dressed up to celebrate George Lucas' famous films. Fans staged lightsaber fights and seized the opportunity to take pictures with other cosplayers. Todos los personajes te dejaban un mensaje, era el bien contra el mal, que siempre te podías redimir aunque hubieras hecho cosas muy terribles, pues no, hasta el último momento de tu vida tienes para redimirte. Entonces esas cosas de niño calaron fuerte en mí y me volví recontra fan de, de Star Wars. In La Paz, Bolivia's capital, fans gathered at the city's Cinematec to enjoy a movie marathon and stage lightsaber fights. In Caracas, Venezuela, fans Princess Leia and Darth Vader posed for photos while enjoying a cosplay show. Star Wars enthusiasts marked the day celebrating the space saga by chanting or tweeting "May the Fourth be with you," a play on the film's catchphrase "May the Fourth be with you." A 
combination of modern technology and old masterpieces has resulted in the impossible statue which is now on display in Stockholm. The 500 kg, 150 cm tall stainless steel statue made using the latest advances in AI, advanced software solutions and precision manufacturing builds on works by artists such as Michelangelo and Auguste Rodin and can now be seen at the Science and Technology Museum in Stockholm where it is a part of a permanent AI exhibition. If you take five artists from five wildly different eras and sources of influence, how do you combine them into one piece of art that's actually manufacturable? And so the challenge is, you know, what AI systems are necessary for this? What digital twin systems are necessary in order to figure out if this is manufacturable? And how do we blend all of these things together into a single project that's done efficiently and results in a compelling and amazing piece of art? The company behind the statue is Swedish metal cutting tools and mining gear maker Sandvik who wanted to showcase their digital manufacturing skills and machining and metal cutting tools. Computer scientist Robert Luciani who created the AI blueprint of the statue said one of the many challenges was how to take works of five different artists from different eras and combine them into one piece of art that could then be manufactured. In the production process, more than 20 different tools such as turning, milling, drilling, threading and broaching tools were used together with various software solutions. In total, 2.5 tons of stainless steel were used and out of these, two tons were subtracted during the machining process resulting in a statue weighing 500 kg. All the steel that was machined was recycled and reused. And now we'll take you to the busy streets of Old Delhi to give you a tour of the gastronomical delights that the area has to offer. From the much-known Mohabbat Ka Sharbat to the flavorful chicken tikkas and parathas, this place is a food heaven for all. Take a look. It's been said that the food of a place is a true reflection of its culture. The leans of Old Delhi and Jama Mosque are a portrayal of the city's iconic history and traditions that natives of this place have been keeping alive for generations. A heaven for all, especially meat lovers, these busy lanes of Old Delhi have a wide variety of delicacies like kebabs, fried chicken, shawarmas and more. खाने के लिए तो पुरानी दिल्ली में तो कम ही नहीं है आप कुछ भी खाओ कैसे भी खाओ मजे का ही होता है हर चीज इसी अब हमारे यहां के कबाब हो जाते हैं असलम चिकन का टिक्का हो जाता है और बहुत सारी चीजें हैं शरबत है मोहब्बत है ये वो बहुत सारी चीजें फेमस हैं तो लोग खाते हैं आते हैं बहुत सारे सेलिब्रिटीज आते हैं तो वो भी रहता है वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस फूड स्टॉल्स ऑफ दिस प्लेस इज दैट ऑफ द मोहब्बत का शरबत this is a rose flavored cold beverage which is enjoyed by visitors from far off places. Another famous delicacy of Old Delhi is the Shahi Takra, a brown bread sweet that is slow cooked for hours and is served with curd. <laughs> It is next to impossible that one mentions Old Delhi without mentioning the age-old lanes of Chandni Chowk and its famous Parathe Wali Gali. Located near the famous Sea Skunch Sahib Gurudwara, the place is famous for its deep fried parathas which have fillings of chilies to rabri which are being served right from 1890s. Yeah, it's full of flavors, but not exactly spicy. Apart from this, a wide variety of sweets like jalebis are also famous here 
and enjoyed by locals and visitors. Be it takeaway or dine-in, the smell of Old Delhi's scrumptious dishes carries the essence of its long-gone history and its humble origins. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia.com. I'm your host, Lipakshi, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Yeah.